Peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will answer some uh, uh, some people in the in the text. It's, you know, some people they really don't want to use their brain, and they make a very funny comment, and you know, make me feel that sometimes I'm talking to a bunch of dummy. With my respect to everybody, this is Mr. Grass trying to answer us in a very smart way. Simple answer: Did the word womb exist in Arabic at the time? If it did, then it is scientific error and mean all of Islam is wrong. If the word womb did not exist, then it can be said no such a word exists. So Billy was used. Allah could not say Billy if he Allah knew how to say womb. But did the word womb exist in the Arabic language at the early 7th century? See, so his claim that's Allah because he do not know the word womb so he have to use the word Billy that makes sense he's a smart you know first you know uh, Mr. Grass if we are talking about Allah supposedly Allah is God so God even if the word does not exist at that time he can tell us what the word will be used for this after 7th century don't you know don't you think so are you telling me that the God do not know what will happen and what words and do not what what people will call this part of the body after the 7th century secondly the Quran have the word womb already and we have the word womb in the language not only in the Arabic in the Aramaic the mother language 3,000 years before Islam before Christ sorry this is this is your this is the Quran all of those words are the womb you see it Al-Arham 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 so the word womb is exist so there is no excuse to say they are coming from the stomach or from the belly. Somebody in another comment he said, "This is being little Bicky. Most parents tell the children that the baby is coming from uh, from the tummy or the belly. Okay, you know when your parents talk to you, they you know in this way because you are a, you know just a, a dummy kid. When you are an adult, your dad will not tell you you are coming from your mom tummy. Is that correct?" So are you saying to us that your God or the God of Islam, regardless of your religion, saying to us that we are coming from the belly because we are dummy? If the Muslims are talking about science, it means science. If the Muslims, they are saying, you know, this is like, you know, uh, not exactly, but the God is saying, okay, well, this is where you, you know, the, the mother, like they have, you know, I will take it, I will accept it, it's not my problem, I don't have a problem with it. But when the Muslims make it as a scientific study, we have to talk science. We have to talk science. The Muslims actually, they torture their book when they say that this book speaks in science. It's not me. So if it is, you know, either you are saying to us this is 100% science, or you say to us, you know, Allah don't mean that, He means something else, you know, He mean uh, like He talk in general, you know. Yeah, I will accept that, I have no problem. But as long the Quran is talking about creation and the stages, we have to take it in a scientifically way, not as just uh, like in general. And the funny, the video is full of errors about the Quran and everybody is talking just about the Billy. Maybe everybody loves Billy these days. We mention in there that the Quran say the sperm transfer into clot. Nobody talk about it. How? Oh, well, this is nothing. This is, a, this, is, this is a big huge issue. Forget about the Billy. Let us say the Quran says you are coming from your mother butt. Are you happy? How about sperm into clot? The sperm will transfer to be a clot. Is that what science teaching you? When Allah He says, you know, sperm transfer to be in, into a clot, He's talking to us about what? He's talking science now. He's not talking, you know, your mom, she got you from her belly. This is science. He's talking about fact. This is not spiritual teaching no more. As long He is saying, the sperm turned to, into, into, into clot, this is a scientific fact. This is no spiritual. Spiritual is over now. There's many verses, we cannot take them as they are because they are spiritual. We cannot take them by whatever the word means because simply they are, you know, saying uh, spiritual things. And not in this case, as you see. So, nobody talk about it, but everybody is talking about the belly. Like this one. 
and you go to the verse number one of it in the Quran you will see the, the Muslims saying Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah most gracious most merciful this is what they say but in Arabic it is Ar Rahman Ar Rahim Ar Rahman and Ar Rahim both of them they are coming from the word womb both of them not only one so even the names of Allah they are coming from there read with me Ar Rahman Ar Rahim Ar Rahman Ar Rahim he kept repeating himself, repeating his name. The word Rahman and the word Rahim is coming from the word Rahim. Rahim. And this is an Aramaic word. The Arab copy it and use it in their languages, in their language, you know, for hundreds of years before Islam and became part of the Arabic. Now, when we say Rahma or Rahim or Rahman, you know, none of the Arab will say this is not an Arabic word because it became part of the language so as long the word Rahim was used thousands of years before even Muhammad was exist it's mean that the, 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 the Aramaic the Phoenician they knew what the word Rahim mean and they knew otherwise you will not call that part a name if you don't know about it you will not say that everybody coming from the womb of his mother if you do not know that and this is mentioned long before Islam. So Muhammad and, and Allah, he is saying nothing when he say you are coming from your mother womb. But as you see, one verse saying he is coming, you are coming from the belly, and one verse saying you are coming from the womb. But most of uh, uh, most of all is the important is nobody is talking about how the sperm transferred to be a clot, and how the clot became a fetus. You see how you know sometimes how we see things and how we look. This is the big issue. Forget about you are coming from her stomach. Let us say Allah don't want to say that really. But in here how you can give Allah an excuse when he say the sperm would transfer to be a clot. And the clot would transfer to be a fetus. This is a stupid thing to say. But I don't see anyone is talking about it. This is a verse, Surah 8 verse 13. And I'm mentioning this verse for two reasons. First, Allah in here claimed that he is the one who knew what every woman she have in her womb right well this is this is very false because if he knew who is inside the womb he will knew how the baby will be created when he said the sperm will transfer to be a clot it's mean he have no idea what he's talking about secondly if Allah is the only one who knew what the women have in her womb it's mean any women doctor clinic they are Allah the machine they use to show you your, your, your son in, 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 in the mother womb this is mean this is Allah because as you see only Allah is the one who knew what is in the mother womb but the most important in this verse in here is the explanation of this verse and the story of Muhammad talking about how Muslim women she can be pregnant I should make a video about this I think I have one already but I will make another one and here you see this is Al Qurtubi this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You will see in here not much time left. You will see he is saying that the women she can be pregnant up to four years or even ten years. And if you go and Google, in Google there is a Nigerian woman she was going to be stoned to death. The lawyer was able to save her life from being stoned for adultery accusation, but you know by proving from this verse that she can be pregnant from her husband who passed away two years ago. Because in Islam, the women she can be pregnant for almost ten years. So when he proved that, according to his prophet, she was saved. And you will see in here stories about even. Uh, 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 Muslims in the time of Muhammad supposedly they gave birth to babies and their babies they have teeth and they speak already and the baby he come out of his mother and he run and he say mama I want shish kebab this is in front of your eyes so the age of a Britain you know to, uh, the woman to be pregnant in Islam how, how long it can be you know it is very long period as if she is an elephant and here you will see the prophet was coming out of the mosque and the man he came to him and he say my my wife she is a Brit for four years until now she did not deliver and before even he finished him you know talking he saw his son from that woman she was she was a Brit 
coming from his mom and running to his dad and he is speaking and he have teeth this is all is in front of your eyes I will post the link next to the video so people they can take it to Google translation and read let us follow with the coming video Jesus is Lord Islam for fool I mean